Hello and welcome to the channel. If you know Mid Journey and are a huge fan of Mid Journey like me, then you will appreciate this new released model Schnell from Fall. Schnell certainly is going to remind you of Mid Journey and similar products. But the good thing is that this new model, which is text to image and image to image from Fall, is open sourced. It's a 12 billion parameter model, so it means that you can run it on most of the mid to high level GPUs. Also, it shows how to use a rectified flow transformer, which is capable of generating images from text descriptions with high quality. And you can see on your screen, these are some of the images which have been generated with this model Schnell. Also, it comes in three flavors, which I will show you shortly. And out of these three flavors, this Schnell is open source with Apache 2 license, whereas another one, which is Flux Dev, it's a non-commercial license. And there is also Flux Pro, which you can only use with API. And the API is available from Fall and few other providers, which I believe include um, Replicate and also I think one more. But mostly from Replicate and Fall, you can use the Flux Pro. Anyway, in this video, we are going to install this Schnell on our local system and then we will also generate an image. So let's get right into it. Before we do that, let me also give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VMN GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on good prices, I will drop the link to their website in video description and also I am going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs so do check them out. This is the VM I am going to use, Ubuntu 22.04 and this is my GPU card, NVIDIA RTX A6000. Let me clear the screen. First up, let's create a Conda environment to get everything ready and I am going to go with Python 3.10 as it is recommended by them because it is quite stable too. And that is all done. Let me install some of the prerequisites which include Torch and Transformers and then we will proceed further. All the prerequisites are done. Next, let's git clone the repo of Flux and I will drop the link in video's description. And this has been provided by Black Forest Labs. So you don't have to, you know, write your own code for inference. They have provided this repo, which you can easily use. So git clone that repo and then install all the prerequisites from this repo, which is simply pip install dash E. It is going to take a bit of a time. So let's wait for it to finish. Okay, all the prerequisites are done. Now let me clear the screen. Now in order to run this model, all you need to do is to run this streamlit demo from the root of the repo and it is going to launch it in the browser. It is also going to download the models for you. You can just press enter here and you can see that it is launching it in the browser now. From here, Instead of dev, just click on drop down, select the Schnell, also check this box and you can see that it is now getting the model. So let's wait for it to download the model plus the encoder with it. And as it runs and if you want to see the progress, just click on the terminal window where we have started it and you can see that here it is downloading the model and the model size is around 44.5 gig. Okay. And I'm not sure if my GPU with 48 GB of VRAM is going to support it, but at least you know how to install it. So let's wait for it to see how it goes. And while it is still downloading it, let me give you a bit more overview of these models because I believe they are quite a game changer. So the Pro one, which seems really cool and which is only available through API, so this is best of the breed in Flux offering. It is state of the art performance image generation with top of the line prompt following, visual quality, image detail and output diversity. You can sign up for Flux from their API um, at fall and I will drop the link in video's description. Also it is available via Replicate and couple of other providers and they also offer dedicated and customized experience for the enterprises so you can even reach out to them and get a custom experience if you have special use case then comes the flux one dev model 
it is an open weight guidance distilled model for non commercial applications and it is directly distilled from flux 1 pro and this dev obtains similar quality and prompt adherence capability while being more efficient than a standard model of the same size and the weights for this dev model are available on hugging face and can be directly tried out on replicate and fall.ai but if you want to use it in commercial context you would need to contact them to black forest lab i mean and then this is a chanel one which is a fastest model tailored for local development and personal use it is openly available under the apache license and similar to dev weights are also available on hugging face and inference code can be um, shared or found on github which i will drop the link in video's description also you can access it from comfy ui if you don't know what comfy ui i already have covered it there is a lot of good information available um, from them and another good thing is that they are also going to release a text to video model very very soon and that will be very exciting but of course you would need a good gpu with at least 80 gb of vram in order to run that sort of model and by the way all of these flux models are based on hybrid architecture of multimodal and parallel diffusion transformer blocks and they have been scaled to 12 billion parameter and they have also improved their previous state of the art diffusion models by building on flow matching which is a general and conceptually simple method for training gen models that includes diffusion as a special case they have also increased the model performance and have improved hardware efficiency by incorporating rotary positional embeddings and parallel attention layers and i already have covered both of these concepts in various um, videos so please check it out if you are interested as i was mentioning earlier when you would use it you it would remind you of mid journey and delhi and if you can't install it locally just try it out with api which i just did a um, short while ago and really it reminded me of mid journey which is an another very amazing model and these models are specifically fine tuned to preserve the entire output diversity from pre training so looks like a real treat in the smallish models okay let's check it out i'm not sure if it is uh, going to run it on my system okay let's go here i think it got killed there you see so my gpu couldn't sustain it because as i said earlier the size is too huge um, and my <clears throat> the problem is that you know my gpu has just 48 gpu vram the actual size of model is more than 44 so it won't fit on my gpu i think you would at least need 80 gb to vram to run this but anyway at least now you know how to run it locally and then play around with it and this is the website of fall.ai fal.ai and you can <clears throat> access all of these models like flex one dev Chanel, and also others in the, their uh, platform you can even access it through code you can get a api key from here so if i for example click on flex one pro here and then it is you see there is a prompt you can run it here and then you can either access it through api and for example you want to use it with npm yarn or pnpm you can use that and there are various other methods for example if you click on drop down you can use it in your mobile or http or simple python and this is your python code all you need to do is to run this and it is going to generate the image for you from text and there are few other stuff analytics and but i'm not going to use it and you can see there is a commercial use anyway so <clears throat> let me run this one i'm just going to click on run and let's wait for it to produce the image let's wait for it to come back and you can see that it is also telling you the cost so this request will cost us around um, 0.05 cents per megapixel and for one dollar you can run this model approximately 20 times so I'm not sure how much credit I have. Uh, so let's see if it generates. It should have error out if I didn't have the credit. Anyway, let's wait for it. And there you go. It has some uh, produced amazing stuff. So you see the vividness, the crispness of this um, image, which has it has just generated from here, and the word flux is on top of it. 
and this is amazing i hardly ha have found out any model which does this so this is really amazing okay let me try out another prompt and you can by the way select more hyperparameters too but i'm not going to go with it so in this prompt i am saying it a serene and enigmatic woman with porcelain skin and raven black hair stands alone on a wind swept cliff overlooking a turbulent sea at sunset her flowing white gown intricately embroidered with silver thread billows behind her like a cloud in her there you go you see and in her hand she grasps a delicate gemstone encrusted locket that glimmers with a soft ethereal light you see the ethereal light let me make it bigger if you can't see it properly there you go amazing amazing stuff this is simply out of this world magic and also her eyes filled with a deep longing and a hint of mystery, hint of mystery which is i think it missed because i can't see the eyes but other than that this is simply amazing look at the ocean look at the sunset this is out of this world amazing stuff and of course you can also get it in the json if you like you can download it with this like so amazing stuff um, very very impressed by the model i wish i had the gpu to get it installed locally but even if you go with the Chanel one, I think that is going to give you a real treat. Now let's try out the Chanel one. So I'm just clicking on model gallery on top left. And then this is a flux one. Let's click on try now. And then it is selecting the flex dev here. I want to select the Chanel. So for that, I just went back and this is the Chanel one. So let's click on Chanel here. And then I'm just going to give another of my own prompt. In this one, I'm asking it a stunning blonde woman with piercing emerald green eyes and a bright radiant smile gazes directly at camera, her face filling the frame. Her hair is a wild tangle of golden locks with subtle highlights of honey and caramel that seems to shimmer in the light. Her skin is flawless, creamy complexion with a subtle sheen, you see, and it has just totally described it as I have said and the image is crisp high definition and hyper realistic with every detail and texture rendered in exquisite clarity and there you go you have this exquisite thing right in front of you so amazing stuff and the cost is just three cents and for one dollar <throat> you can run this model more than 300 times just imagine this quality um, 300 times for just one dollar so the sky is the limit and if you manage to get it installed locally you can generate these images uh, at your will so uh, i know that this is mind-blowing crazy stuff so that's it guys i will drop the link to it in video description play around with it let me know what you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching